Murphy, the white and ginger tomcat, was the kind of cat who could make a mouse feel safe and a dog feel small. Towering over other cats in the neighborhood, Murphy was affectionately known as the Gentle Giant. Despite his imposing size, Murphy had a heart as soft as his fluffy belly, which he proudly displayed whenever he wanted a good scratch. One sunny afternoon, Murphy decided to take a stroll through the neighborhood. As he waddled down the sidewalk, his enormous paws made a gentle thud with each step. The local birds, used to Murphy's nonchalant attitude, continued their chatter without a care. They knew he was too kind to chase them. In fact, it was more likely that Murphy would try to share his lunch with them than hunt them. As Murphy approached Mrs. Whiskerton's garden, he noticed something odd. A group of kittens, clearly up to no good, were plotting their next mischievous adventure. They had spotted a shiny new garden gnome, and their little eyes gleamed with excitement. The plan was simple. Knock over the gnome, then blame it on the dog next door, a yappy little terrier who was always getting into trouble. Murphy, being the wise and gentle giant that he was, decided to intervene. He knew that once Mrs. Whiskerton found out about the gnome, the dog would be in big trouble, and the poor terrier didn't deserve that. Well, not today, anyway. With a graceful leap, or as graceful as a cat of his size could manage, Murphy landed in front of the gnome, blocking the kitten's path. The kittens, not wanting to challenge Murphy, looked up at him with wide eyes. Meow there, Murphy rumbled in his deep, soothing voice. Why don't we leave the gnome alone today, hmm? How about we play a game instead? The kittens were instantly distracted by the prospect of a game. Murphy, with his big bushy tail, started swishing it back and forth like a feather duster. The kittens, all thoughts of the gnome forgotten, pounced on Murphy's tail with joyful squeals. They rolled and tumbled, swatting at the giant tail that swished just fast enough to keep them entertained, but never so fast that they couldn't catch it. Mrs. Whiskerton, peeking out from her window, smiled at the sight. She always knew Murphy was the neighborhood's gentle protector. And as for the terrier next door, he was busy chasing his own tail, blissfully unaware of the disaster that had just been averted. As the sun began to set, Murphy gathered the tired kittens and led them back to their home, where their mother was waiting with a disapproving look, though she couldn't help but purr in amusement. Murphy, his job done for the day, headed back to his favorite sunspot in his owner's garden. As he settled down, the birds chirped a soft melody, and the evening breeze carried the scent of flowers. Murphy closed his eyes, content in the knowledge that, once again, the neighborhood was peaceful, all thanks to a gentle giant named Murphy.